And now we're back, sitting on the dyno, and what we're going to do is we are going to show you how to properly lash valves. Big debate on it sometimes. This is the way we do it. This is the proper way of doing it to ensure that your lobe that you're adjusting is going to be on the heel of the camshaft. That means on the very base circle of the cam, of the lobe. So, first thing you're going to do is, I typically will just do one side at a time. Um, like on dyno here, instead of running back and forth. Uh, when I put them on from brand new, uh, and I'm just assembling it on the engine stand, a lot of times I'll put them uh, one pair on, or I'm sorry, one rocker arm in firing order at a time. But on a dyno or in the car, you can do this all one side. We're going to adjust the intake rocker arm. Now this is a big block Chevrolet, so we're going to adjust the intake rocker arm first. We adjust this intake as the exhaust valve is just starting to open about a quarter of an inch open we're going to bump this over now you see that valve just start to open it's open about two hundred thousandths about a quarter of an inch that's where we're going to adjust this intake valve Exhaust opening, adjust intake valve. Now as far as adjustment, whatever your camshaft manufacturer suggests, I like to have a nice light feel to it where I can feel that there's pressure there but it's not super tight. However you're going to do it, do it the same all the time. If you want to have a tighter feel, you want something real tight, you want to have something pretty loose, either, any way you want to do it as long as you're doing it the same way. My preferred method is to do it where I have a nice light drag, I'm uh, not super tight, but I have a nice light drag knowing that I, I got pressure on it. Okay, now that's to do the intake valve. To adjust the exhaust valve, we adjust the exhaust valve as the intake valve is closing about a quarter inch away from being fully closed. This ensures that it is on the heel of the lobe to adjust the exhaust valve. So, reiterate again, we're going to adjust the intake valve as the exhaust valve opens. We adjust the exhaust valve as the intake valve is closing. So we adjust the exhaust valve, that's where we do it. Same thing, same feel. If you're going to adjust valves and the engine is cold, aluminum headed engines, I typically will adjust about two thousandths to three thousandths um, tighter on aluminum because the aluminum head swells. As far as the uh, cast iron headed engine, typically I'll adjust them the same as what cold as I do hot. Uh, they don't seem to have the same amount of growth. So, go over one more time. We'll do this, adjust the exhaust valve. Intake valves opening, all the way open, about a quarter inch from closed. Adjust the exhaust valve. We're going to adjust the intake valve now. Watch the exhaust. Exhaust valve just starts to open about a quarter of an inch. Adjust the intake valve. That is the proper method for adjusting your valves. And once again, I'm Steve Morris at New Era Racecraft. And we look forward to doing more videos uh, to help everybody out with common tech questions.